In this quick tutorial, I'll show you step by step how to build a landing page in system.io, even if you are a complete beginner. And if you want to follow along, you can create your free account using the link below. Building a landing page is super easy and it's completely free to do. You don't have to pay anything. You can use the System.io free plan. Just navigate to websites and click on sales funnels. And here you can start creating your first landing page. So click on the create button. And first thing you need to do is to name your landing page. In this case, I will call it test landing page then you need to choose a domain you either can use system io free domain or you can use your own custom domain and the next thing you need to choose is choose your funnel goal you can either build an audience sell product custom or run an evergreen webinar i will click on build an audience because we will be offering a free pdf to our audience so click on save and our landing page was created. Now we have to modify the landing page. To do that, click on the name of the landing page. And you can see in this left sidebar, we have squeeze page and we have thank you page. And now we can start building each of these pages. We will start with squeeze page. System.io offers pre-made templates that you can use completely free. So I will choose something that will fit our needs to offer a free PDF. I think this one could work so you can preview the template if you like it and if you do you can click on select and the template was selected for our squeeze page. Before we start modifying the squeeze page we should change URL path so it makes sense so I will call it landing page so it will be either your free system IO domain slash this or your own custom domain slash the name of the page. So to start customizing the landing page, click on edit page. And as you can see, everything is drag and drop. You don't have to know coding or anything. Anyone can do it, it's super easy. So what I would do to modify this landing page to our needs, I would only keep this part with headline, some text, call to action button and image. This is everything you need for high converting landing page where you offering a free PDF, free guide, whatever. So what I would do, I would delete this element. You just click the trash icon and click on OK. I would also delete the logo, but you can keep it if you want, but I will delete it. I will delete this text here and I will delete this whole button part. So just navigate over any element you want to delete or modify. Click, click. I will delete this whole section as well and this form as well. Now we can start modifying these elements. I prepared some text before I have it in Google Docs and I will be just copy pasting. So first I will start with the headline. Just click on the text and you can either type or you can paste whatever you have. So I will just paste it. In this left sidebar, there are options you have with each element you are working on. So I would definitely decrease the size. Maybe this is too much, but... I will change the line height as well. And I would like maybe change the font because I like pop-ins. So I would go to pop-ins and I would change it to pop-ins because I think pop-ins look so much better. I'm not sure about the size, but I will keep it like this. Never mind. Now, next thing we need to copy is our subheadline or any other text. I will paste it here. I will check the font and I will make it pop-ins as well. Now the call to action button. With call to action button, if you click on it, you have multiple options of what can happen when somebody click on the button. In this case, as you can see in this left sidebar, action when button clicked and we have selected show pop-up so this button is set up 
to show pop-up window once somebody click on the button. If I click on this, you can see there are multiple options you can choose from, like submit form. So if you had, let's say, email form, clicking on the button will subscribe the people to your email list, open URL, the people will be redirected after they click the button. Next step URL, that basically means once somebody click the button, then they will be taken to the next step in the funnel, which in this case is our thank you page as you could see before but i will keep it like this i will only change this text so i will change the text i will also change the color of the button i will make it maybe blue maybe like this and I will make the text white because I think it's more related to this business niche, let's say. Now, because we have action when button click to show pop-up, we should set up the actual pop-up. So to do that, you need to go to pop-ups and you can see there is a pop-up created, pop-up number one, we can check it. And you can see it has very simple headline, email form, and again, submit button, but it really doesn't match the style of our landing page of, or our squeeze page. So we will modify this as well. First thing I would do, I would delete the, your last name form because we don't want to waste people's time. So name and email is enough. Now I will change the headline and again I will change the submit button. So I would change this. I would again change the font so every font on the landing page is the same. Again send me the guide. Next thing, I will definitely change the color of the pop-up. Maybe I can make it this blue to match with the call to action button and I will make this text white. Could be, yeah, why not? Next thing and last thing we need to do on our landing page is change the image because the image should be related to our free PDF or our free lead magnet we we'll go back to settings and click on the image and you can see image files so you can replace this with your own image so i will click on upload button select file and i have prepared my it's basically an ebook cover created in canva click on insert and we can change the size it's too big I will make it like this and our landing page should be done. Before we leave and save the changes, we should actually check one more thing to go back to pop-ups and we should check what is the action on this call to action button and its submit form and then do the next step. So once somebody submit to this email form, they will be taken to the thank you page. Actually, one last thing for our thank you page. What we will do, pretty simple, just go to this whole landing page element, click on this save icon and name it landing page. What this does, you can save this whole block to your pre-made blocks and then you can import it to whatever page you want. And I will explain you why this is a great idea. So click on create. and click on save changes. Before we leave, we can check our page and it looks like this. It's very simple headline, some text, send me the free guide button and image. If we click on it, we have this pop-up window. Everything seems to be all right, so we can leave it and we can also exit the editor. And now we can move on to thank you page. So click on the thank you page. 
and again you have these pre-made templates. These templates are definitely good, you can use them, but what I would recommend you to select whatever template you want. I will select this one for example. I will click on select. I will change the URL path again to to thank you page. To thank you page or to thank you and I will go to edit page. Now, as you can see, the thank you page looks pretty okay, but it doesn't fit the style of our squeeze page and we want our squeeze page and our thank you page to be as similar as possible so people are not confused and there is some sort of flow between those pages so what i would do i would delete everything even this and now what i will do go to blocks my blocks and you can see here is our block from our squeeze page click on it and it was imported to your thank you page what you can do now you can build a thank you page with same style from your squeeze page so what i would do i would grab this headline i would put it above on the center under this i would put the image and i would add some text maybe and call to action button we can delete this or you can add other elements if you want to alignment to center the same with the call to action button and here we can add some space super simple thank you page we will just change the text check your inbox your guide is on the way. Alignment to center again. And thank you page is basically done. You can use this button or you can delete it. Maybe you can do an upsell here or whatever you want or you can offer some affiliate offer maybe on the thank you page it's completely up to you but now we have a thank you page that is visually related to our squeeze page which is super important we can click on save changes and we are done now we can check our funnel so go to view funnel step and you can see it's super simple we can click on the call to action button fill out the information and we were taken to our thank you page so our landing page or our squeeze page and thank you page works properly we built a landing page where we are collecting emails and we are offering a free pdf guide so you would expect when somebody opt in into your email form they should receive this guide and i already created a video before about this topic on how to send automatically emails after somebody opt in into your email forms so definitely go check the video so you can continue on building your amazing landing page and then send out the free pdf that's all for today's video. I hope it was helpful for you. Consider subscribing to the channel if you like it and I will see you in the next one.